Hello, Richardson ISD. Today I have some really important information to share with you regarding the start of school next month. I was fortunate today to be in a meeting with Dr. Philip Hong, our local health authority for Dallas County, where he provided updates on the state of public health in our county, specifically citing record high numbers of COVID-19 cases, as well as record numbers of COVID-19 related hospitalizations and deaths. Subsequently, Dr. Hong released an order that, number one, all schools in Dallas County shall not reopen for on-campus face-to-face instruction, but we can reopen schools through virtual, remote, or distance learning. Number two, administrators, teachers, and staff may conduct or facilitate the online learning process while on campus, provided social distancing is followed and facial coverings are worn at all times. And number three, all in-person school-sponsored events and activities, including but not limited to clubs, fine arts, sports, fairs, exhibitions, academic and or athletic competitions shall not take place until school systems resume on-campus instruction. Obviously, this is very big and important news. RISD still plans to begin school on Wednesday, August 19th, with all instruction taking place virtually at least until September 8th. It's possible but that the start of in-person instruction could be delayed further if public health authorities order in-person school be delayed past September 8th. Now delaying the start of in-person school will foremost provide more time for the spread of the virus in Dallas County to slow from the current rate that is stressing our healthcare system and essential workers. In addition, it will allow all of our teachers and students to gain necessary experience with how virtual instruction will work. This experience will be critical in the event, in the event of in-person closures that may occur later in the school year that could require a quick shift to virtual instruction for a classroom, a school, or even multiple schools. Now with school being solely virtual, it's critical now more than ever that our students have Wi-Fi connectivity. While, you know, while RISD provided hundreds of internet hotspots and student devices in the spring to families to help facilitate at-home learning, we will continue to ensure that every student has the resources they need to successfully navigate virtual school. And luckily, RISD is engaged in some really exciting opportunities with the state of Texas that will ensure that every student has internet. I continue to hear from our teachers who have concerns, real concerns, about reopening in-person classes safely. So I hope that today's announcement of delaying the start of in-person classes will help. We still plan to finalize and share our back to school blueprint next week. And parents and teachers alike will be able to see what safety protocols we will implement and follow when in-person classes do begin on September 8th. After we share the reopening blueprint next week, we will move forward on two fronts. Number one, RISD is still planning to finalize and publish its reopening plan the week of July 20th. After the comprehensive plan and information is published, the opportunity will open for RISD parents to still formally choose the type of instruction in person or virtual for their children for the 2021 school year when in-person classes begin. More information will come out next week about how parents will be able to formally make that choice. In addition, we will be surveying our teachers. Principals will be connecting with all staff beginning next week to gauge their concerns as well as their teaching preferences. Y'all, today is just another example of how things continue to change and this time demands that we continue to be flexible. Here are a few things that I know. We will open school virtually for all students on August 19th. Our virtual school is going to be high quality and it will provide connections for our students, 
whom we know desperately need to get back to school with teachers and students. I also know that we won't move to in-person school until it is safe. Things keep changing, but this is never going to change. The safety and well-being of our students and all staff are the most important thing, and they always will be.